Shalom. February 21st, 2021. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. I'm just going to read a few scriptures this morning to start my day before I go running and jogging and lifting weights. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and delivering me. Thank you for your mercy and your grace and your blood. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I think I'm just going to read from um, Psalms 92 this morning before I take off running. This Psalm in 92 was made to be sung on the Sabbath to stir up the people to acknowledge God and to, and to praise Him and all His works so that the prophet rejoices therein. Amen. I'm going to cherry pick a few scriptures, a few verses out of this psalm before I read the whole psalm. It says, My eyes shall see my desire on my enemies. My eyes shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire on the wicked that rise up against me. My eyes have gazed with pleasure on my enemy's ruin. My eyes have gazed with pleasure on my enemy's ruin. My ears have delighted in the fall of my foes. When they think that they are flourishing and that they have won, it is then that they most speedily perish. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Because the wicked is not able to consider that when they try to silence God's people from speaking the truth, when they think that they are most flourishing and have won and defeated God's people, it shall be then that they most speedily perish and are destroyed forever. It says in Psalms 92, when the wicked spring up as grass, when, when the wicked are everywhere, when they spring up as grass, when all the workers of iniquity seem to be flourishing, it is then that they shall be destroyed forever. And my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. I shall see it. And my ears shall hear it. That my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. I will flourish like the palm tree, and I will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit even in old age, and they shall be fat and flourishing with restored favor and new fresh wine and new fresh oil and new fresh fire for the new glory revival being so harvest to show that the Lord is upright and that he is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. But the wicked, they are not able to consider this, that the ungodly, when he is most flourishing, shall most speedily perish. That's verse 6. And in verse 12 it says, In the end is described the felicity of the just, planted in the house of God to praise the Lord. A brutish man knoweth not, neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is then that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, O Lord, art most high forever. For lo, my enemies, O Lord, for lo, my enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn thou shalt exalt like the horn of a wild bull with fresh oil. You have given me the strength of a wild bull and you anoint me with fresh fire, fresh oil. Thank you, Jesus, for the new fresh fire and new fresh oil for the new glory revival. 2021 is coming. The enemy has not won. God has the victory in Jesus' name. 
We're about to see it with our own eyes and hear it with our own ears. And I also shall see my desire on my enemies. That's verse 11 in Psalms 92. My eyes shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age and be fat and flourishing with restored favor and new fresh fire and new fresh oil to show that the Lord is upright and that he is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. I'm going to read it from the King James Version right now. Psalms 92, it is a good thing to give thanks from the Lord. Verse 1, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to speak his word aloud and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. 7.52 a.m., February 21st, 21, to sing praises in the morning and to, sh to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery and upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hand. O Lord, how great are thy words, and thy thoughts are very deep. That's all. King James, now I'm just going to try to read from the Complete Jewish Bible real quick. Complete Jewish Bible says a song for Shabbat, for the Sabbath. It is good to give thanks to Adonai and sing praises to your name, Elion, to tell in the morning about your grace and at night about your faithfulness to the music of a ten-stringed harp and the lute with a melody sounding on a lyre. For Adonai, what you do makes me happy. This is the uh, complete Jewish Bible in Psalms 92, verse 5. It says, For Adonai, for God, what you do makes me happy. I take joy in what your hands have made. How great are your deeds, Adonai. How very deep are your thoughts. Verse 7. Verse, Psalms 92, verse 7 in the complete Jewish Bible says, Stupid people cannot know and fools cannot understand that when the wicked sprout up like grass and all who do evil seem to prosper, it is so that then they can be eternally destroyed. All the evil, wicked people rising up trying to silence the Christians and persecute the Christians it is now that they rise up like grass and spring up like grass. But when the wicked sprout its grass and the evil seems to prosper, it is then that they shall be eternally destroyed and cast into hell. While you, O Adonai, are exalted forever. For your enemies, Adonai, God, your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be destroyed forever. But you have given me the strength of a wild bull. That's the complete Jewish Bible. Psalms 92, 11. But you have given me the strength of a wild bull. And you anoint me with fresh oil and fresh fire for your glory. My eyes have gazed with pleasure on my enemy's ruin. My ears have delighted in the fall of my foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar in Lebanon, planted in the house of Adonai. They will flourish in the courtyards of our God. Even in old age, they will be vigorous, still full of sap and bearing fruit. Even in old age, they will still be vigorous and still full of sap and still bearing fruit. That's verse 15. It reminds me of this old man. I saw him in a video yesterday. He's like a really old preacher and a really old prophet nobody's ever heard of, but he was probably signing telling about a 
dream vision God gave him about um, how everything was going to turn around around the 4th of July this year. So even in the old age, they will be vigorous and still full of sap and still bearing fruit, proclaiming that Adonai is upright, a rock in whom there is no wrong. Also, I was just reading Amos yesterday. God had me in Amos yesterday, and it talks about how Amaziah, in Amos 7, verse 12, it talks about how Amaziah said to Amos, O thou seer, go and flee away into the land of Judah, and there eat your bread there, eat your word there, and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's church. So they cast Amos out. It's like they're casting all the Christians out. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, I see a plumb line. Then the Lord said, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people, and I will not again pass by them anymore. I just read this yesterday, but I'll just do it real quick. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel will be laid waste. And I will arise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then when Amaziah heard that, he, he sent to the king Jeroboam of Israel, saying, <clears throat> Amos has conspired against thee. They called Amos a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Amos 7 verse 10, Amaziah. The priest ran to the king Jeroboam and said, Amos is out there spreading conspiracy theories. He has conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel, and the land is not able to bear all his words. For thus saith Amos, Jeroboam the king shall die by the sword. The king shall die by the sword who stole the election, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, flee, go away into the land of Judah, and there eat your bread and word, and prophesy there. But prophesy not any more at Bethel, for this is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. And we don't want to hear the word of God here. We're kicking all the Christians out. And then answered Amos, and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. I was just a herdsman and a gather of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock and caught me up in the spirit. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, that he told me to prophesy to you. Thou sayest, prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy hand and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel will surely go forth in captivity, forth of its land. But my people, who are called by my name, will flourish like a cedar in Lebanon. Amen. God's remnant will flourish with new fresh oil and new strength, and new fresh fire, and new glory, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your word. Thank you. That's Psalms 92. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me go get my work out now. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.